My name is Yuval Avital. I'm a multimedia artist and composer. I was uh, born in Jerusalem, in Israel. In the past 18 years, I live in Italy, based in Milan. And here in Geneva, it's your first exhibition? It's my first gallery exhibition. I made uh, a few works that was participating in the Sundart of Ecolint project together with Città dell'Arte Fondazione Pistoletto, Art and Social Impact. It's very original, your art, you're doing uh, paintings and sculptures as well. Uh, and you said you're a musician. Yes, I am a composer as well. What kind of music do you compose? Uh, difficult to say. I work with orchestras and string quartets, but also with very traditional musicians, Samaritans, nomads in Kazakhstan, uh, players of gong and bamboo in Southeast Asia, also working with huge ensembles, sometimes involving communities, hundreds of people, ensembles of 45 tubas, electronics and percussions, sound rituals with hundreds of voices, also of non-musicians. Yeah, these are, these are the, the sound sculptures. Here we have a, a first example is the singing tubes. The tubes that each one of them is an anthropomorphic or an animalistic uh, being. Each one with a human voice. Here we have the worm, the spider and the giraffe. There are also um, other sound sculptures like the masks, the singing masks, uh, that is a series of 60 singing masks that I created in, uh, for an exhibition in Florence, in Marino Marini uh, Museum, created in dialogue with great master craftsmen. They symbolize uh, some of those masks? Well, you know, mask is a very universal archetype. The word persona, from which come person, comes actually from a word that was used to describe the Greek masks in the tragedy that were very big and had the, this cone to amplify the voice. Persona, persona, personare, for sound. And persona, you know, a mask from one side is something that hides you. But on the other side, like in Carnival, when you have the mask, you can be anything you want. So is it an act of freedom. It's interesting. They have all different sounds. Each one has a different voice. That is the voice of the creator, that the, the artisans with whom I worked. I worked with them also about the voice of the mask. So this beautiful mask of silver threading made together with Negar, she's a great master of jewelry in Florence, has the voice, an elaborated voice of Negar. Okay, and uh, this one? This is a, 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 a bronze cast mask made in Pietra Santa with the Fonderia of Mariani, one of the greatest uh, bronze foundries of, of Europe with the voices of Adolfo and Nicola, father and son. And uh, this one? This is made out of wool, elaborated wool, created in Prato. So if we start with mask, we can... This is a leather mask created in dialogue with Dimitri Filoresi one of the greatest masters of leather. And the uh, last one? Last one. This is, this is a mask with many layers of wood that was created with Simone Beneforti, is one of the most important uh, restorer of ancient wood. Well, you have also the very rare black oak of the Arno River. Yes, different mediums, painting, drawing, performance, video art, sound installations, video installations, 
you know, for me the medium is something uh, secondary, that it's a byproduct of something that starts with a strong emotion, that afterwards being translated in a way to a project. And here the foreign body is the human body becoming foreign for the great body, body of nature. Oh, it's part of the nature. And again, femininity in a different way. Woman in black in the snow. It's a participatory artwork where it was an open call for tens of women of Sicily to arrive to the Etna volcano in which the, the body becomes like a stone, like a rock on this uh, white snow of the volcano. <coughs> starting, from <coughs> starting from stillness and reaching this kind of liquidity, of movement, of saturation of energy. This is also a video artwork that was presented in different places, like the Museum of Contemporary Art in Rome, for example. It's photo? Uh, yes. But some done with movement and that's why... My movement, yes. Here we have the, a series of drawings. This is the Rorschach angels, watercolor, which are like very, very light beings, grotesque, but without any evilness inside them. And like a lexicon, a vocabulary of human states. You paint like uh, yourself, uh, you pass through your feeling, uh, yes. what you feel at the moment. Exactly. Not, not planning, not conceptual, but immediate and totally exposed. And this is autoportrait? I think that every artwork is an autoritrato, a self-portrait. And here at the end we have uh, larger medium paintings. Uh, and then in the middle it's quite strong one. This, this one is called the Queen of the Night. And it, is, it represents, you know, all the thing about the song of the chimera, the monster. Who is the monster? What is a monster? Here you have the queen that is giving birth to everything. With her tears, she creates the stars, she creates the moon, she creates these demons and spirits. And she overcomes two very strong uh, taboos of, uh, of masculine uh, culture, the open mouth and the open sex, which make you feel like she's frightening, but actually... Or suffering. Or suffering, but she... Even though that there is a misericordia, this openness is a, is a freedom, is a power, and there is no limit, no limitation of this being. This is not the opposite of objectifying a female body. This is woman as Gaia, okay. as a bringer of dream, a bringing of light, of bringing of life. But in this endless power of openness, she crosses a taboo. So the first reaction is of a monster. In this painting, we have the haunted family. Members of a strange family, each one makes, made in a different medium. with pastel, water colors, uh, cement, pencils. And they all look at you. It's like that you are the absent member of the family. You're the observer. And in this oniric uh, landscape, where you have monsters and guardian spirits. So, of course, as an artist, I'm in love with all my artworks. But 
this artwork is very special for me and it is titled Questo Bravo Ragazzo, what a great son. This, and here this is the, the adolescent, which is a little monster, but a little sweet and innocent, and there is no evilness. There is a flower and wounds inside it. And this pressure of superhero father and man, mother, super monstrous father and mother, this pressure to be this great son, wonderful son, and this in this landscape of beasts and sorrow, he resists. And for me, I said before that every work is a self-portrait, but this is for me an additional self-portrait. This wonderful son that is trying to make everybody hug him as the chimera he is. This one is from a series called Balahot. Balahot is Night Torments. Again, you have these oniric beings, but at the same time, the monster become evil when you close the monster in a cage. And here, these monsters live in a free ambient, and they coexist. There is no evilness. There is only being. Well, here we have another scene. It's called uh, Lockdown. It's a painting. It's last one, probably. This yes. Confinement. The painting in the lockdown. How are you alone in confinement, starting to have your spirits and your monsters and your elements, in which also the room become a participating chimera in this hybrid reality. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Mm.